हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाव यू आई एम भावना कौशिक टीचर ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज फैकल्टी ऑफ माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी चिल्ड्रेन वी विल स्टडी टुडे अ न्यू चैप्टर इन हिस्ट्री दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर टू नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज ऑन द ट्रेल ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट पीपल एंड दिस इज लेक्चर वन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर थ्री सोशल स्टडीज सब्जेक्ट यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन एन सी आर टी बुक आ पास वन वी विल स्टडी चैप्टर टू ऑन द ट्रेल ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट पीपल चिल्ड्रन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन चैप्टर वन अबाउट हिस्ट्री वॉट वेयर हाउ एंड वेन एंड इन दैट चैप्टर वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट दैट हाउ द पीपल दे वर हंटर्स एंड गैदरर्स हाउ दे यूज टू हंट एनिमल्स एंड गैदर फूड फॉर दैम सेल्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी मोर अबाउट द लाइफ ऑफ द ह्यूमन्स हाउ दे यूज टू सर्वाइव वी नो अबाउट पीपल हु लिव इन द सब कॉन्टिनेंट एज अर्ली एज टू मिलियन ईयर्स अ गो टूडे वी डिस्क्राइब दैम एज हंटर एंड गैदरर्स द नेम कम्स फ्रॉम द वे इन विच दे गॉट देयर फूड जनरली दे यूज टू हंट वाइल्ड एनिमल्स दे यूज टू गैदर द फूड फॉर दैम सेल्स दे यूज टू कलेक्ट द फूड दे यूज टू डिपेंड ऑन फ्रूट्स एंड अदर थिंग्स so that's why they got this name hunters and gatherers but this task was not very easy for them hunting is not was not very easy for them as the animals some of the animals were more fast animals in comparison to them and some of them were stronger also to uh, in comparison to the men so this task was not very easy they used to depend on plants also now in this chapter what we are going to study the earliest people why were they on the move this already i have a little bit explained to you how they used to make the stone tools making stone tools a changing environment agricultural revolution division of human historical time paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic age elsewhere rock paintings of france now these all these things we are going to study in this chapter now why were they on the move the question comes now 2 billion years ago as i have told you they were the hunters and gatherers they used to collect the food gathered food roots seeds etc and hunted animals fish and birds all this was very difficult as i have already explained you animals were strong and ran faster and so for this humans need to be very robust alert quick and have presence of mind you can you can see in the picture how they are bringing the animals after hunting in the second picture you can see how they are plucking the fruits for eating and again in the third picture you can see how they are hunting a very big animal which is very big and strong so there are four at least four reasons why hunter and get gatherers move from place to place first if they had stayed at one place for a long time they would have eaten up all the available plant and animal resources therefore they would have had to go elsewhere in search of food second reason was animals move from place to place either in search of a smaller prey or in the case of deer and wild cattle in search of grass and leaves that is why those who hunted them had to follow their movements third reason could be plants and trees bear fruit in different seasons so people may have moved from season to season in search of different kinds of plants fourth reason could be people plants and animals need water to survive water is found in lakes streams and rivers while many rivers and lakes are perennial with water throughout the year others are seasonal people living on the banks would have had to go in search of water during the dry seasons winter and summer besides people may have traveled to meet their friends and relatives remember they traveled on foot so there can be four reasons why they used to move from place to place picture on your screen animals are migrating from one place to other you can see in the next picture again you can see they are living uh, living near the banks of the rivers now what do perennial mean perennial sources of water are those rivers and lakes in which water is available throughout the year example ganga river yamuna river non perennial sources of water are so rivers and lakes in which water is not available throughout the year water get dry in summer season example mahanadi and krishna Now, how do we know about these people? Archaeologists have found some of the things hunter and gatherers made and used. It is likely that people made and used tools of stone, wood, and bone, of which stone tools have survived best. Now you can see on your picture screen some pictures of the stone tools which were made by the humans of that time, and archaeologists have found these stone tools which were made by the people of that time. They used these stone tools for cutting, for scraping the. the skin of the animals for stitching for hunting many things now you can see on uh, your screen a map 
you can see certain sites paleolithic sites mesolithic megalithic and neolithic sites now we will study about these as stone tools were important people tried to find places where good quality of stone was easily available places where stone was found and pe where people made tools are known as factory sites how do we know where the these factory sites were usually we find blocks of stone tools that were made and perhaps discarded because they were not perfect and chips of waste stump left behind at these sites so we come to know about them sometimes people lived here for longer spells of time these sites are called habitation come factory sites now before coming to habitation come factory sites both we have studied we should also know what do sites mean sites are places where the remains of things tools or pots buildings etc were found these were made used and left behind by people these may be found on the surface of the earth buried under the earth or sometimes even under water you will learn more about different sites in later chapter so this is the meaning of sites now how do, do they use to make the stone tools stone on stone here the pebble from which the tool was to be made also called the core was held in one hand another stone which was used as a hammer was held in the other hand the second stone was used to strike off flakes from the first till the required shape was obtained second technique is pressure flaking technique here the core was placed on a firm surface the hammer stone was used on a piece of bone or stone that was placed on the core to remove flakes that could be shaped into tools these two techniques were used for making the stone tools you can see in the picture how he, this is making a stone tool this human is making a stone tool another you can see again so many stone tools made by the humans of that time now next important thing is finding about fire how do the archaeologists find out that that time fire was also existing traces of ash have been found there this suggests that people were familiar with the use of fire fire could have been used for many things as a source of light to cook meat and to scare away animals you can see now on your screen certain pictures they are using the fire for cooking the raw meat you can see in the next picture again you can see that they are scaring the animals they are frightening the animals with the help of the fire the wild animals where they are living and in the third in the third picture you can see that they are trying to keep their body warm with the help of fire you can see with the help of fire they can help their body warm in winters so this these were the uses of fire now again a changing environment came around 12000 years ago there were major changes in the climate of the world with a shift to relatively warm conditions in many areas this led to the development of grasslands this in turn yes now around to 12000 years ago the environment changed led to an increase in the number of deer antelopes goats sheep and cattle that is animals that survived on grass those who hunted these animals now followed them learning about their food habits and their breeding seasons it is likely that this helped people to start thinking about herding and rearing these animals themselves fishing also became important this was also a time when several grain bearing grasses including wheat barley and rice grew naturally in different parts of the subcontinent now this you can see on your screens how the grasslands they came uh, there was a change in the environment and how the people started doing the agriculture also start of agriculture grain bearing grasses like wheat barley maize rice grew naturally in different parts of the world people learned about them and found them as an easy way to use them as meal thus they started to grow crops the this requires great care time and dedication so they had less and less time to go for hunting and wandering from place to place slowly permanent settlements also appeared so they started doing the agriculture and that was uh, easy for them now names and dates we will study about names and dates archaeologists have given lengthy names for the time that we are studying they call the earliest period the paleolithic this come from two greek words paleo means old and lithos means stone the name points to the importance of find of the stone tools this was the longest period this period extends 2 million years ago and uh, about to about 12000 years ago this long stretch of time is divided into the lower middle and upper paleolithic now next period was the mesolithic period which was known as middle middle stone period stone tools found during this period are generally tiny and are called microliths microliths are probably very quick you can 
Migrants were probably stuck onto handles of bone or wood to make tools such as saws and sickles. And at the same time, older varieties of tools continued to be new. Third period was the Neolithic, which means new. We have also mentioned the name of some places. You will find the names of many more places in the later chapters. You can see the picture of microlith tools, how sharp they are and very small. They were used for hunting. They were used to put on the spears for hunting. Next is rock paintings and ostriches. Many caves in which people lived had rock paintings which showed wild animals with great accuracy and skill. Some of these caves were found in Madhya Pradesh and southern Uttar Pradesh. Ostriches were found in India during the Paleolithic period. Many ostrich egg shells were found at Patna in Maharashtra. Designs were engraved on some pieces while beads were also made out of them. So we have found ostriches also that time. You can see in the picture how the rock paintings were made by the people. Next picture also you can see how beautiful color they have used for making the paintings. Now ostriches as I have told you have found so you can see the picture of ostrich they were found that time also. Archaeologists have found some shells of ostriches of that time that dedicate that shows that ostriches were there that time. Find France and your atlas the painting below is from a cave of France. This site was discovered from school children more than a hundred years ago. Paintings like this were made between 20,000 and 10,000 years ago. Many of these were of animals such as wild horses and many other bison, cattle, rhinoceros. So you can see again the cave paintings. I have already shown you the cave paintings before. So children, I hope you have understood this video today. I understood this chapter very nicely. By the time, stay safe, stay at home, read the chapter once.